Hey, 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 it's Donnie B and you are watching Donnie B TV. Welcome back to another episode of Donnie B TV. Of course, I am your girl Donnie B. And before we get started, I need you guys to please do me a favor. Actually, I need a couple favors from you, okay? Um, before we get started, I just need to let these YouTube people know that I clocked in to work today. So what that means for you, I need you to drop down and hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Also, I need some interaction, okay? <laughs> so drop down to that comment section and leave me a comment. If you have absolutely nothing to say, just leave a heart. Let me know that you were here and that you saw the video. All right, now let's get into the video. Today, I am going to be doing something what I am cons I'm calling quarantine collabs. Okay, that is a tongue twister. But it's a co quarantine collab where I am teaming up with a couple of my friends here on YouTube. And we're getting together and we're going to be doing our best version of something in particular. And today's in today's video, I am going to be teaming up with Carissa from the wonderful world of Watts, and we're going to be making our version of shrimp tacos, okay? I know, shrimp tacos, delicious. So I am going to leave the name of her page here across the screen as well as down in the description box. I'm going to leave a link so you can go and check her out. Leave down in her comment section a little heart so she know that you came for me so you can see um, what wonderful things that she has going on on her page. All right, so in today's video, I am going to be doing my version of two different tacos. The first taco is going to be like um, a pan roasted shrimp with a mango salsa and a cabbage slaw underneath. It is so delicious. And also I'm going to be doing my version of like a fajita style shrimp taco where I'm making a spicy Mexican crema. I mean, my mouth is already watering, okay? <laughs> and I haven't even started cooking yet. All right, so stay tuned and come along and let's get cooking. All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start off with some freshly washed shelled and deveined shrimp. Make sure you wash your shrimp because don't nobody want no dirty shrimp, okay? All right, so that's a little garlic powder that I sprinkled over the top. Then I'm gonna follow that with some onion powder. I know you may ask me, how much are you putting in there? I'm going to tell you, I don't know. <laughs> I season by sight, okay? Um, then that's a little smoked paprika and this is my favorite seasoning to date. So basically right here, what I am going to do, I I am concocting my own taco seasoning mix. Then I'm gonna throw in here a little black pepper, just gonna cover up the shrimp. Um, make sure I'm not putting too much nor too little. Then following it up with a little ground cumin. And okay, so on this next seasoning, I know a couple of you are gonna turn your nose up at it, but my husband loves this stuff. So I'm going to sprinkle a little accent over my shrimp, you know, just to wake up the flavor a little bit. At least that's what the packaging says. <laughs> and then a little cayenne pepper, cause I'm from Louisiana for a little heat. And then we're gonna follow that up with a little adobo all purpose seasoning. Notice I haven't put too much salt in here. Then we're gonna round this off by adding a little olive oil to coat everything. And we're going to stir our shrimp up and make sure everything is well coated and distributed. All right, in real time, what I did is I sat my shrimp onto the side as I put together all of my toppings. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I prepared the shrimp. So I got me a cast iron skillet, as you saw, poured a little olive oil in it, made sure that it was well heated, and then I laid my shrimp in one by one in a single layer. Now all it takes is two to three minutes on each side for your shrimp to cook. Make sure you do not overcook your shrimp because they will become extremely tough. Onto our first taco, we're gonna start off by making our lime cumin crema for our slaw and for the topping. This is a half a cup of sour cream that I'm going to place in my bowl. And then I'm going to grate some lime zest into there. Make sure you don't get down to the white because it'll be extremely bitter. And I'm gonna squeeze a little lime juice in there. 
these limes were a bit tough I end up putting it in the microwave and later on pulling out my lemon lime squeezer um, a little Himalayan sea salt because I was told that this is supposed to be healthier for you so we're gonna grate some of that in there followed by no we're going to stir it up <laughs> we're going to whisk that up and then let's see we're, see, there, I, there there, you go. I went ahead and I pulled out our um, handy dandy lemon lime squeezer to squeeze out a little more juice. I knew I didn't get it all out of there. And then I'm going to round my sauce out by sprinkling in some cumin. And because the sauce is gonna be multi-purpose, I am going to distribute a little bit out in these two little ramekins that I have here for later. Now to the slaw. So I picked up a bag of pre-made coleslaw. Yes, I could have shredded the cabbage, but who has time for that when it's already done for you? Made sure I washed and rinsed it out. Make sure that there was no grit or anything in it. And then I am going to pour the remaining um, crema onto the coleslaw. Mango salsa time. All right, so I'm going to cut up this mango and I had the hardest time trying to cut around that pit. Um, I'm not gonna show you that because it was extremely embarrassing, okay? All right, off camera, I cut up a little pickled jalapeno. You can use a fresh jalapeno. I didn't have one and I was not going back to the store for a jalapeno. Gonna get this lime prepared by rolling it out, try to squeeze out some of the juice. And then I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze some juice into um, the mixture along with grating some Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. And I don't know about you, but I eat with my eyes first. So I wanted to add a little more color and dimension to my salsa. So I went ahead and I cut up like of a fourth of a red bell pepper and I love red bell peppers. And it also gave this salsa a great flavor. My slaw and my salsa are in the refrigerator marinating and I'm going to go ahead and get started on my corn tortillas. There's something about a freshly fried corn tortilla. It just takes a tortilla to a whole nother level. So I am going to constantly flip it. And the key is to make sure that your grease is hot so it, your corn tortilla does not soak up any extra grease. Time for the assembly, my favorite part. First, I'm going to top it with a little slaw that's been sitting in the refrigerator getting cold and marinated. And then I'm going to follow that up by a little shrimp. Put a couple shrimp on there, a few shrimp. Well, actually, I'm going to put three shrimp on there, but you can put as many or as little as you like. Um, but I felt that three was sufficient for me. Then I'm going to top that up with that beautiful salsa. And then I have a little queso fresco that I am going to crumble up and place it on top. And also I'm just gonna put a little bit on the side of the plate for color and for my pictures later. So yeah, that is done on purpose. And then I am going to put a little cilantro on top of there. And you remember that extra crema that we set on the side, I'm going to dollop that on the top. If you had like a squeeze ball or something, you could have put that in there. And and here is the final product. Taco number two, we're gonna start off by making some pico. Gonna take a couple Roman tomatoes and cut them up. I do not really like the seeds. So I tend to cut them out and depit these Roman tomatoes because I just don't, just don't like it. <laughs> and so I took, uh, I think that was three or four Roman tomatoes and I'm going to dice those up. As you see, the dice are kind of small here. Later on, I did go in and make the dices a little chunkier. 
and then I'm going to take a red onion and I am going to score it I actually scored it both ways you're not gonna see that here but I scored it both ways and I'm going to cut it up now granted my knife cuts are still not grand as you can see yes yeah, sis needs some new knives and I'm going to put some on the side for my guacamole later and then to finish up my um, my pico I'm going to take some garlic I have some minced garlic and also some Himalayan pink sea salt and a little lime I think the pink pink sea salt and the lime are going into pretty much everything um, then I'm going to sprinkle in a little black pepper and give this a good stir and then I'm gonna put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator so it can all marry together. And everything is great with guacs. Of course, I have to make me a little guacamole. I'm only going to use one avocado because my husband really doesn't like it and um, I don't wanna make any excess. So I'm going to go ahead and score this both ways. And these avocados are so ripe that once you score it, all you have to do is squeeze it out. I mean, that came out so easy. Didn't have to scoop it out with a spoon or anything. Then I'm gonna take some fresh garlic. I want to invest in a garlic press because I feel as though um, the cuts on this garlic was a little too big here. Um, but if I had a garlic press, it would have been so much better and it would have a much smoother taste as well. Um, then I'm gonna take those reserved red onions and sprinkle a few in there. And again, <laughs> with a little lime, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some lime in it uh, to give it a little acid for one for the flavor and also to keep the avocados from turning brown as well as some pink Himalayan sea salt gonna chop up and mix everything all together and again just like the um, pico I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator to marinate and what is a fajita taco without the fajita onions and bell pepper? So I'm going to take all those beautiful bell pepper that you see there and I am going to decor and de-seed them and I'm going to slice them up into ribbons as you see here. And don't this look so beautiful? The colors are wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little olive oil. I know you didn't see me cut up uh, cut up that onion, but I had it in the freezer. And so I went ahead and added it to the pot. Now to season up my fajita onions and bell pepper, I start off by seasoning with some cumin. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some garlic powder, followed by some black pepper. And I'm also going to add some, some onion powder, followed by some pink Himalayan sea salt. And then next I'm going to add some smoked paprika. Wanna make sure that you season everything because you don't want any of your food to be blended. So you need to season every layer. And once the bell pepper and the onion have cooked down, they're gonna look like this. I make sure that they are soft, but not mushy. And it's assembly time. I take these soft and fluffy flour tortillas and I'm going to place them on my plate and I'm going to put them in the microwave so they can get soft and pliable. And once they have been placed in a microwave, I am going to top my tortilla with some shrimp. Um, the tortilla is a little bigger than the, the flour tortilla is bigger than that corn tortilla. So I could fit more shrimp on it. Um, so then after that, I'm going to lay and place my bell pepper on top. And then I'm going to follow that by putting on some of my pico de gallo and I kind of strain a little the juice out because I didn't want it to be um, too wet. And then after I put on as much pico as I want, I followed that up with that wonderful guacamole. That looks so good. And you remember that reserved 
sauce that we had on the side, that crema we had on the side. To make this spicy, I'm gonna take this Mexican hot sauce and I am going to put it in my crema and I am going to stir it up. The Mexican hot sauce is what's going to give it, give it that heat and also gave it like this little tangy flavor and it was awesome. Um, then I put a little queso fresco on the top. You can use any type of cheese that you want. You can definitely use like um, the Mexican shredded cheese if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna follow that up with my, uh, my Mexican crema and see how that flows a little better than the last because I added that hot sauce. So it thinned it out a little bit. The longer it sits, the thicker that it's gonna get. And then I'm going to top it and finish it off with a little cilantro. And this was so delicious, it was my husband's fave. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support. Don't forget to go and view Carissa's video as well. Have a great day.